Hey guys, Luke here. We're back for episode 35, or the third episode of season 3, uh, whatever you'd like to say, um, of the Savage City Reds career mode, and we're taking on leads to the very first game. Obviously, um, as the standard format has been throughout the upper two seasons, and going into the third season, we're not going to change it. Uh, we're going to have two games in here. Now, there is a change. Uh, it's on the last episode that Moses Mbaya is out for two weeks. Uh, he's the replacement for Ring and Chase. Um, had a few options there. We could have uh, put Greg Bird into 5-8. He's played there before, but we haven't done that. We've slipped Richard Owen, who's back from injury himself, slipped him into the 5-8 position, and we'll see how he does. Uh, we pick up an early try there. Um, didn't check uh, what the time was, but uh, Pritchard was the scorer. But he did throw a crappy intercept there to Joel Moon. Uh, I think Watkins was the passer. Um, he did pretty well to get a little bit of space, but the winger just overran him, and I really should have seen that happening from long... Like, it was always going to happen, but couldn't pick it up. But Ryan Hall makes up for his error a little bit earlier of running, um, overrunning. Cal Watkins passing, picks off an intercept. And uh, that will take us to half-time, 12-6 to six up, I believe, with uh, Trust, Hall, and Pritchard. And then they got a try to John Moon, former Warrior, former Bronco. Um, and all goals being kicks. Kevin Sinfield kicked theirs. Thank God it wasn't Rob Burrow kicking it, because it would have been terrible seeing a left-footed Rob Burrow. Um, just some shit work there from um, our defence there. Also, when I was trying to change to play, and for some reason it changed the hall, so that was crap, so put him away. But, in a little bit of a irony, I suppose, this is what usually happens to us. We have a break and then um, throw an intercept, a stupid intercept, but this time we're very fortunate um, that, defending our own line, we picked up an intercept there. But once again, uh, John Moon, oh sorry, it wasn't John Moon, Gareth Hock, um, picks up the ball here, and he somehow runs the length of the field. Uh, now, Wardle, um, I'm not sure how he's for real life, but I'm pretty certain that Asano should be able to run them down. It's just so annoying in this game how once you hit a certain point, you can't get any faster. It's just like all players have the same sort of sprint speed. It's just um, like the barbers and that can do it for a little bit longer. But for some reason... He wouldn't be able to catch a forward, but Hodgson scores a really nice try there. Seals a victory. I believe he went 24-12. Yes, we did. So Hodgson scored two tries, that um, the intercept and that really nice try at the end there. Uh, Denny Broff picked up man of the match, though, um, as he should have. He did have Richard Owen um, playing at 5-8, and Richard Owen did a pretty good job, I must say. But at the same time, I think I think we'll stick with McCullum at, at fullback because um, he's done nothing wrong. Um, and Mumbai will come back into the 5-8 position when he's fit. But, like I said, Richard Owen's doing nothing wrong as well, so he'll be staying at the 5-8 role um, for the time being. So we're going into the game against Hull Kingston Rovers. So there's their lineup. And if also, if you're wondering who this Parsi dude is who's been on the bench for us, um, he's... I got him from the Tigers. I don't know if he's at the Tigers to start, like, start off with, but that's where he was. See, McCullum, I think it was, who scored on a try there. From a nice little bomb here, and then they hit back with a bomb of their own and a try scored. Not sure who scored the try, but, yeah. And then Richard Owen just puts a player into a hole there, um, and then we score. And then Owen himself goes through, um, and then finds another pass, and he's running right here, Richard Owen, at this stage. We do give away a penalty, just trying to strip the ball there. It's kind of stupid, and... But a really weird decision here by um, Hal KR, or well, the computer. I'm not sure why um, they would do that, but they took the kick a goal. And then Richard on here just threw a dummy and then um, hit Watkins, who ran in the gap. Um, perfect stuff there. I really like those sort of tries where you can throw the dummy and capitalise off it. It just it looks like a really nice, well-worked try that you'd see in real life when the players throw the dummy. Um, I really like it. Then he straight from the scrum, just five minutes into the half, this um, Whelan dude, or whatever his name is, I didn't catch it fully, but um, I'm just guessing here that's who he was. I went in for the kick, um, the one where you can dive at the legs, and didn't work. And then we kicked the 40-20 there, which put us in a nice position, and we capitalised and we scored. So we're up 30-14, to um, 14. they do score again, and they're on the attack like minutes later. Put up a bomb here, and I was trying to shield them off with water, but doesn't work too well in this game, shielding. Um, and they're back with a shout here. 30 to uh, 26, I believe it is. And then we go through a hole here, Wardle, who finds Jewett, and he'll score and he'll seal it. Um, and we're on the attack again here. We're getting a little bit um, ahead of ourselves here. We should just be looking to pick up the victory, but 
we don't, and we throw a pass to Darren Miller, the former Bulldogs play, he's celebrating already. I'm not sure why he'd be celebrating, because he's going to lose, but uh, we did pick up victory. It wasn't that impressive, but a victory is a victory. And we're looking on the right track. Um, we've still a few players to come back. I think Wimbo will be back next game. But Owen picked up man of the match. All the try scorers are there. And you'll be able to see all the results in the ladder um, coming up real soon. But I'd like to just say thank you for watching. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more. And follow me on Twitter if you've got any questions. At Mr. Luke on YT. So, uh, yeah, like I said, thanks for watching, guys. And see you in the next episode. Bye.